double slide zipper for your project. I'm using Sally Tomato Zippers by the Yard. There are two different pull styles to choose from. There's donut and rectangle. If you've never used Zipper by the Yard before, I recommend you check out my introductory video on YouTube. So I like the look of the donut zipper pulls, so I'm gonna use those for my project. Sally Tomato Zippers by the Yard have fabric tape on both ends of the zipper when you first open the package. The reason that there is fabric at the beginning is because it's easier to put the poles onto the fabric than directly onto the teeth. So take one of the poles and if you'll notice there's a rounded end with two openings and then a flatter end with only one opening. We're going to make a double slide zipper so I'm going to first put the pole on that's going to go backwards. So you're going to take the end, the flat end with one opening, and slide it over both pieces of fabric and push it onto the zipper tape and you'll feel it stop. Then separate each side of the zipper tape and one pull is already on. Then we're going to put on the other pull. So this time we're going to use the rounded end with two openings and put one side of the zipper chain into each side of the zipper pull. Then make sure that the edges of the tape are aligned and I pinch the tape together and then simply just pull the zipper pull onto the tape and you've created a double side zipper. So once your pulls are on you're going to zip both the pulls all the way down to the opposite end And then I'm going to measure the length of zipper that I need and mark across the tape. So I need a 26 inch zipper. So I measured from the cut end of the tape to 26 inches and marked across. Then I also marked a half inch beyond. So I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and stitch across each of those lines. And this will create zipper stops for my double slide zipper. And you can sew directly across the teeth with Sally Tomato Zippers by the Yard because they are a nylon coil, so you don't have to worry about breaking a needle when you sew over the teeth. And I like to back stitch for reinforcement. Just to make sure that the pulls won't slide off the end. Now I'm going to do my second stitch line. I've sewn across each of my markings and now I'm just going to cut in between both of the stitch lines and that stitch line will help prevent my pulls from coming off of the tape. Now my zipper is ready to be sewn into my project.